All right, we're out of here. End of Sandpoint, Idaho. See what the windsock's doing. Okay, well, Mike the Genius forgot to put a SD card in the SD card and uh, GoPro on the wing, so it's all in the cockpit and from the iPhone inside the cabin. But we're comfortably cruising at 11,500 feet on our way to there a magic call sale tonight? Ten point. And these things are giving us oxygen because we're kind of high up, so that's why it looks kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, we'll turn this on again later. United 8147. Right, right behind us is the Snake River, and then going up to the right here is the Palouse River, which branches off into deep canyons. Pretty amazing from 11,500 feet. You really get a different perspective of what the ground is doing. There's a better view of the Snake River off the right side of the plane. We're still in Washington. We should be crossing the Idaho-Washington border probably in about half an hour. So far, so good so, still. we still got a good tailwind. To our right is Idaho, Coeur d'Alene. Um, we got uh, Coeur d'Alene Lake and Hayden Lake, which is right off here to the right. Uh, 2114, Romeo contact, Seattle Center, 123.95, good day. 123.95 for one for Romeo, good day. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Sandpoint traffic, Skyline 2114 Romeo, departing off runway 20 over the lake. Sandpoint. All right, we are on the roll.
All right, we are over Rock Lake at 4,000, actually are sending down to 3,500, get you a little view of what it looks like out here. Pretty incredible. And then shortly after, we're gonna climb back up to 6,500 and head down to Pendleton, but we couldn't resist taking a quick uh, cruise over Rock Lake. It's really pretty, kind of like a miniature Snake River. November 100 Alpha Mike on. Uh, wind check. Wind 280 at 10. Zero. Roger that, thank you. Okay, we just got approved for takeoff to the southwest on runway 29 or so let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Alright, got a little crosswind, no big deal. Yeah. 